Hi there, welcome to Tropical Plants Finland. I'm participating in a Sleeper Care Collab and these are the ones that I own. I'm not sure if actually did I have more previously. I did participate the last year's Care Collab, so I'm going to link it somewhere up above, below or somewhere to, so you can actually go back because there I was explaining more of uh, the background of, for my slippers and it's much more informative this is just to check up on them and next i'm going to show you the participating ch channels if i'm able to actually find the way to insert them into the picture if not they are linked below please go and check them out of course it didn't work so here are the channels hello plant lovers exclamation mark the orchid saga it's orchids Karen's orchids, hillbilly orchids, Fen Fernanda Nascimento orchids and succulents, Matt by nature, Tracy's or orchid life, simply orchids, etc. Orchids by the lake, Mary G orchids and more, beauty of orchids and plants, DD blooms, Daniel's orchid ranch, the right paths, joyous orchids, Tokyo world mark, ninja orchids and Julie orchids. So this is the first one I'm going to talk about to you. I'm not sure if I'm able to actually find the picture of the bloom. Uh, it has yes, I did. You see it next bloom, and it's really stunning. I think it's uh, de Perle, the white form, and it was just bought from the flower shop. My um, orchid friends told me who have been. Do you, who have had, uh, I think, the past 30 years of uh, orchids, they actually told me to go and get it because it's not that common to find the, be the barrel in Finland. So I bought it. So this is the one, it just bloomed this spring. It did bloom last year uh, with two blooms. This always does that and that's kind of nice for this and it's easy going I would say that it's really easy going I'm not uh, giving it enough water because of the I don't have the cover uh, pot for this one it's only on the blade which is um, I think it's the cars yep <laughs> so I, I should actually give it more water it would look better uh, sorry I'm rambling a lot time and then there is this one uh, it's no ID. I bought it 2019 from Karke. It's been flowering each year and it's uh, now it's so big that it's actually, oh, and there's the fungus nets. I get those no nowadays. Mm, it's uh, uh, growing two growths per each side, so it's uh, widening this way. It, it's just uh, finished off with this fan, so I'm waiting for it to bloom. Unfortunately, they didn't bloom at the same time, but the bloom is gorgeous. I think this was um, uh, Primulinum or something similar. I mentioned that in the, the other video, this uh, what I suspect is behind it. Something uh, which I think is with the Pinocchio, I think, because of the petals and, and the sepals and it and the pouch it looks like that but that's the one and it's really small so this is my hand so you can see that it's miniature it has a little bit modeled leaves and then off to the next one so this one oh, it's really dusty i actually plan to give them a wash with uh, some lemon uh, water so that they they are cleaned there is a little bit grease on them it's because i sometimes tend to have a bit of outbreak with thrips and because uh, thrips don't go into this they uh, have certain orchids which they love and those are dendrobiums in my collection and sometimes new uh, pseudobulbs for the Cattleyas. If I do spray them beforehand, for example, the new Cattleya uh, pseudobulbs, they won't go into those. So I'm unable to get rid of them, but I'm able to uh, sustain them. 
so that they are not eating my collection. So that's why it's it has this grease on it and it's really dry because I'm really bad at watering. Yeah, now that I remember, I was about to mention that this, this is one of those really slow ones which grows. That one grows like one uh, two fans in a year uh, or half a year. And this one, that's the only thing it has grown in three years, I, I think. Yeah, in three years. <laughs> First year it was just uh, soaking in there. And there might be coming uh, flower pot, might. I have no idea what it is. It's just plain green. It came with this in the same pot, so I just separate them. You can see that it's not the same, I would say. Uh, there's more mottling on this one than this one, but it might be the same seed parents, so I don't know. It's a surprise. If you want to follow me on this one, just go to my Instagram page. I post there quite often, so you might actually see that first there when it decides to actually flower. Hold on, I'll get the one which I forgot because it's not here. So this one, I've kept it a bit cooler place uh, next to my store-bought Phalaenopsis, which actually needs some cooler temperature to in order to initiate the flowering. And so this has been next to them, which explains why it's so dry, because I tend to forget to actually water this as well. Who would know? I forget to water these. It's really hectic year for me. Uh, so my orchids and my plants just had to survive it and my technique has been to leave some water into the pot so they are not bone dry and i'm not going to kill them it's just that they are they are trying to battle for their lives so this one is as you can see it's from karke it came with this uh 2019 and it's a nivium and i was told that this is the easiest one to start with when it comes to paths and it's slow as anything. It's really slow. This is the new fan, similar to that one back there, that no ID. That's why I'm thinking they might be a separate, uh, different parent because this is growing so fast and that one is not. And it's more like this. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just assuming that Nivium is quite slow and it's at least it's not dying so so now that we have uh, looked upon the smaller ones we are going to go to the giants so paffia pedalums or slippers can actually be uh well be of different sizes and this one is actually killing this part of the fan it actually had some issues with the crown at one point I think it too was much burnt sun. way too fast that's why and it's it burning it actually um it doesn't act the way it's supposed to be so this brown thing is coming from the bottom but this is dry so it's not like it's spreading it's just bone dry as you can hear so there there isn't any issues with the hasn't been at least before that has been all the time looking like that. So that's quite normal with this one. So this has been since last summer like that. So don't worry. It's quite perfectly normal with this one. I burned the crown. I put it too early on to my balcony and yep, that's the result. But it's making new fans. So this one is more progressed and I'm hoping it's going to be flowering this time and it might, might help to tell me what you are looking at. So it's angel hair. Unfortunately, I cannot focus because I'm using my free hand. So now you can see it's angel hair. And it's in Swithin cross with Sandarianum. St. Swithin is, um, I think it was crossed with, I'm not sure what um filipinesi maybe i'm not sure um if you, somebody else knows or check my previous video you might actually find it there so there's a new fan um developing it's quite small 
I'm not sure if it's going to actually develop more. And it's quite airy mix, but it's way too dry at this point. I need to actually water it as well. And then I have here is my oh, yes. Philippinense cross with Wilhelmine. So this is um, primary cross, I think. And as you can see, it's huge. Um, sorry about that. Drying leaves haven't done cleaning up and given it enough water. Yep. We have theme here. Uh, okay, theme, which is not watering. So this is weird. It's It grew those little things, which are actually new fans, as you can see. But then it decided, oh, no, I just still want to grow these leaves in here so now we have that <laughs> this fan is still growing new leaves i don't know why it's doing this uh if you know anything about this perfibrillum you could actually give me some suggestion maybe lighting issues if it's the lighting issue i can uh, remedy that when i when the temperature is uh, risen high enough on my balcony Unfortunately, I'm living in Finland, so uh, I don't have a heated or insulated uh, balcony. It's glazed, but it's not insulated. So during the evenings, it goes below zero degrees Celsius. And that's, I think it's like, is it like 30 in Fahrenheit? Not sure, but it's cold, too cold for these. So I cannot put this outside. And... The lights I have here inside is something which is just making them survive through the winter, which uh, and the room temperature is around 21 degrees Celsius. And yeah, that's the normal room temperature. And the light is not high enough to actually give them some, some sustain, sustenance. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. Anyway, it's um, because of the electricity and how expensive the electricity is. And they were telling us to actually save with the electricity. So this got the bare minimum. And I'm sure you all understand why I haven't been giving too much of light. If you think about the situation in Europe now. So um, that's all my slippers i don't have anything else i just have these papillums and they are doing quite fine in this new environment i'm not in, able to actually grow anything which needs cooler temperatures as it's really difficult with the this kind of apartments to actually get that cooler temperature without killing them due to the frost so this is all I can actually grow and I'm sure these ones will be loving because they are I think they were from warmer temp uh, from, warm, from warmer climate and uh, sunny positions I guess so I'm I'm sure they enjoy the sunshine on my balcony which is on south facing it might uh, sound too much but it's Finland we are at the no uh, close to the North Pole so the sun is not that um, the sun doesn't have that strength as it has when you go to equator. So when they are saying something like shade, um, I'm actually keeping them on my south facing window. For example, my hoyas they are now blooming constantly because they are on my south facing window sill and not somewhere else. So this is really important to actually understand when you are growing in different environments that something which is working in close to the equator doesn't work in here where you are up north. Okay, so this is about it. Um, what else? Well, we have for the win uh, summers, we have this issue that we get too much light, so we don't get actually nights during the summer times so at the midsummer. So you don't actually see the sun goes down. So, so these are really getting blasted with the sun during during summer times, and we have really long and dark winter. So, uh, in the middle of December, we get like maybe uh, here uh, southern Finland, 
we get like five to six hours per day um, the daylight and up north it's like well they don't get it at all actually and during the summer i'm taking these out to my balcony so the night uh coldest night that night that you get is around 14 to 15 degrees Celsius. so in finland we get four and, different seasons and um, it's really cold during nowadays, winter because of the um climate change we tend to get uh, tropical nights as well which is weird here and what else i would tell you um we don't have it's the indoor humidity, humidity. uh outdoor the, humidity it dif um, is different during days that high now that i have so many plants here i have and i have aquarium i have like um 35 degrees uh percentage uh percent of humidity and out side if you are living close to for example um forest you might get um, up to 60 percent of humidity during the evenings but because i'm living now closer to city center it's actually really low i haven't i don't remember i i actually noticed how it how much it was uh last summer i have to actually uh, keep track this summer how it is and let you know how this has changed but this is going to be really educative year for me as it's the second year in this apartment or the second summer in this apartment actually so the feeding so i'm giving them a uh, half of the strength that i'm giving for for example for my catalias so they are not getting that much but because i'm not actually i don't have time to mix the water and the feeding uh, during winters I'm actually giving them little trickle of um, slow releasing fertilizer which is made out of uh, bone meal I think that's why I have those gnats because I have bone meal on these pots so that they could get some kind of uh, fertilizer during winter because I just have time to schloss in the water and that's it and the water in Finland is quite soft. I don't remember how soft, but it's soft. So you don't get those buildups or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't need to use any sort of uh, systems to softer the water or anything like that. I just ca I can just uh, throw it in. I think that's all about my uh, slippers. Um, Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it's really quick look at them and I hope you are enjoying the other videos and you are getting more information of those. I'm sorry to tell you that this is all you are going to get because of the change of environment. So I don't have um, track records with this in, in this apartment. So on that note, I'm wishing you a very nice weekend.